Something I see a lot of with video games is trendy ones that stick around for a few months and then are just kind of thrown in the trash and forgotten about to repeat the cycle. For me personally, I never really can get into these types of games since whenever I end up being interested in them, they're kind of past their prime. Recently, however, I've found an exception. Besides a few games, I usually kind of prefer single player experiences, but multiplayer modes where you can interact with others locally or online have always been fun to me as well from time to time. The best example I can think of is Mario Party. Kick-ass boards with some fun minigames in between and friendship destroying moments. <laughs> anyway, you've likely all heard of the game, and if not, you've likely read the title. But I'll give some background anyways. Developed by Inner Sloth, known for the Henry Stickman games, Among Us released on Steam in 2018 and didn't gain much attention. This was until just a couple of months ago when some popular YouTubers and Twitch streamers started playing the game. Ever since then, the game's popularity has been skyrocketing. Only a few days into playing it was when I realized I had to talk about this game. I knew it'd be on the shorter side and all, but I enjoyed it too much to not make a video on it. There's not much else to say, so let's just get right into it. Among Us is a murder mystery type game. When you join a game and one of the maps is one of the colors wearing silly hats and shit, there's a chance you'll either be a crewmate or an imposter. Crewmates go around and fulfill tasks and fill up the task bar, while imposters only pretend to be fulfilling tasks and can't actually fill up the bar at all whatsoever. The goal of the crewmates is to simply stay safe and fill up the task bar fully. If they successfully pull this off, then they win. The imposter's goal is to stealthily kill crewmates on the ship, and if one is nearby, they should ideally get into a vent and travel to another room to hide any evidence. Just be careful nobody sees you getting in or out of the vent. If the imposters kill enough people to bring down the amount of crewmates to their numbers, they win. When a body is discovered, someone can report it, and then a meeting starts in which people give their thoughts, what they saw, and tell each other about who they think is suspicious. A meeting can also start via an emergency button. This is particularly useful for when you see someone vent but not kill someone. There's a vote at the end of every meeting, and if you're voted out, you die. It's then announced if you were an imposter or not, unless that option is turned off by the server creator. Although I think I kinda personally prefer it on, just so I kinda get the idea right away of if it was worth it or not. The meetings are truly what makes this game for me. It's just so fun looking at what everyone's saying, trying to figure out who the imposter is, or maybe even lying since you are the imposter. After you're killed or voted off, you could still fly around the map as a ghost, but you can only interact with other people who've died, obviously to prevent cheating. It's not the most complex thing in the world, and I think that's why I had such an easy time getting into it. The simplistic graphical style really added to this idea, and I dug it overall. I also just really like the map's themes. The first one, the Skeld, is easily the best in my opinion. It's this huge floating ship with plenty of memorable set pieces, branching pathways, and more. It's not surprising that this is the most popular one. The next one, Mira or Myra, whatever HQ, is probably my least favorite. That's not to say it's bad, I just think that the layout is uninteresting, with long, dull hallways, and while I do think it's cool having a lighter level to contrast the darker ones, the space theme really fits Among Us a lot better in my opinion, especially since it's a murder mystery type game where you don't know if the next path you turn will lead to your death. In my eyes, the darker atmosphere really adds to that. The last one, Polis, is pretty cool. You land a ship and get off it to explore this cool looking purple planet, with separate buildings holding different rooms. I liked exploring this gloomy outdoor area my first time playing this map, it's pretty fun. Although I think that the skeleton is overall a better map. And, uh, yeah, only three maps. Not a deal breaker, but I really hope they add at least a couple more in the future. They did announce via Steam that they're working on a new Henry Stickman themed map, which is pretty cool. They also plan on adding a friends list, which would be appreciated since joining games with friends can be a bit tedious sometimes if they take too long to enter the code, you didn't host the game, can't remove it from the public list, and it fills up too quickly. All in all though, my gripes with the game, such as the lack of maps and such, didn't really stop me from loving my time with it. So, the verdict? Go ahead and pick this game up if you can. It's only 5 bucks on Steam and it's actually free on mobile devices, albeit it does have ads occasionally. But, they're far and few between. So, if you really can't get the Steam version, the mobile version is just fine. I'm sorry for the shorter review, it's just if I didn't do a smaller video like this, it would probably be a while until the next video, since it's probably going to end up being a good bit longer than this one. Nonetheless, I thank you for watching up to this point if you have. I had a fun time making the video and an even more fun time playing the game. I can definitely see myself playing more of it in the future, as charming and simplistic as the artwork is, and as thrilling as some of the matches can end up being. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and tell me how you feel about the game. Are you enjoying it? 
let me know. Also make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Expect some new videos within the coming weeks. I've been trying my very best to get them out even though I have a lot of schoolwork now. Hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Thank you.